Hi folks, Techniverse here. Welcome to the Techniverse channel. Today we're going to go over loading filament into your 3D printer. We'll be using this ANET ET4 for demonstration, but the process is the same for most machines, including the Ender 3 and TiVo Tarantula Pro. We're going to get right to it, but first, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and become a Technivore now. Before we go any further, let's take a look at some of the parts on our hot end extruder and get to know our printer a little bit better. So there are basically two components to the hot end extruder setup, and those are the actual extruder and the hot end itself. Now you'll notice on this machine there is a third component, and we'll go over that in just a minute. It is the filament runout sensor, and it is not included on all machines, but you will find it on your ET4 if that happens to be what you're using. So what do they actually do? Well, this part's the extruder, and it's the part that actually pushes the plastic. It forces it down this Bowden tube here and into the hot end, and out of the hot end, pressurizing it against the build plate, allowing you to have proper adhesion. This is the actual hot end itself. This is the part that gets superheated in order to melt the plastic, and the plastic does not become melted or liquid until at this point. This is the filament runout sensor. Basically, when the filament runout sensor is triggered, it will pause the print and move the hot nozzle away from the print as to not cause damage, allowing you to refill the printer and continue printing at that point. Now, you may see a screen that looks something like this, and this is the runout detection being triggered on the ANET ET4. If you see this screen, all you need to do is load some more filament. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. The next thing we need to do is prepare our filament. Sometimes it'll be flat from the manufacturer, like this guy here. And sometimes after you've used it already and removed it from a printer, it'll be melted, the tip like this, from use. What you need to do is get your clippers and cut it to a 45 degree angle. So here's both of those pieces after they've been trimmed to the proper angle. And once you have prepared your filament, we're going to start with the process. So the first step is obviously to get that filament ready. We have done that. You can see our 45 degree angle cut into the filament and we are ready to go. So the next step of the process is going to be to pass through the filament sensor. Now you will hear a definitive clicking when you pass through this sensor. That is simply an end stop mechanism letting the sensor know that there is filament inserted. Um, if you listen really closely when the filament actually runs through the sensor and runs out, you will hear another click that is a release of that sensor, and that is when the sensor itself triggers to let the printer know you are out of filament. The next thing we need to do is pass between the extruder gears. Now, some have two gears. Some only have a single gear with a bearing wheel on the other side to use as a guide. And basically, what's going to happen is those two things are clamped down by this spring here, so we need to relieve a little tension in order to provide enough space for our filament to pass through. In order to do that, we are going to depress the lever on our extruder. Now you can see when I apply pressure to this lever that the spring contracts and the wheel comes away from the gear allowing us to fit the filament in there. And once we do that, we can relieve a little bit of pressure and slowly feed it into the Bowden tube. And once you've entered the Bowden tube, you're going to want to go ahead and depress that lever fully and feed the filament into the Bowden as far as it'll go. It should reach all the way to the hot end and, in fact, into it, even if the extruder is cold. If the extruder itself, or excuse me, the hot end itself is heated, you should be able to gently press on the filament while the lever is depressed and see filament extruding from your hot end. At this point, you can also stop what you're doing. Um, use the printer to feed the filament down to the hot end, but in order to get the printer to extrude filament, you will need to ensure that the hot end is heated, and that's to ensure that you don't cause any damage to the machine by trying to crank on a cold hot end. You can see I am depressing the lever, feeding it into the Bowden. It goes in rather smoothly because of that nice 45 degree angle we cut. Now, I'm tugging it back and forth right here. If you watch the bottom right corner of the screen right here, 
you can see as I push a slight color change right there. And that's basically it for how to load filament into your ET4 or any printer at all. If you don't have a filament runout sensor, you can go ahead and skip that first step and go right to passing it through the extruder gears and into the Bowden tube. As always, this channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it from my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a Technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.